Okay, here's uh, the two-bladed uh, teetering rotor system that you have here and the spindle bolt, the teeter bolt. Uh, it's a pretty basic system. Uh, and you have uh, a couple of non-metallic bumper points if your rotors tend to teeter too much either in the, when they're stopped in the wind or sometimes spinning them up and slowing them down during a crosswind or a gusty wind, they'll, they'll bump on those non-metallic stops. And there's your ring gear. Okay, I'm up on this ladder, so hopefully I'll stay up here. Uh, okay, there's your sensor, that little blue thing. That's your rotor RPM sensor. And you got a fixed brake shoe here that rubs up underneath that ring gear. And then you also have one that's, that's uh, uh, movable. It's operated, let me get this camera in focus here. Okay, it's operated by a uh, shaft here. In, it, in the selector switch on the dash that I showed you previously, on, uh, on the brake mode, if you take the, uh, the, the trim button on top of the joystick and move it aft, it'll exert pressure into this cylinder I can't show you the cylinder, but that's a shaft. It pushes up, pushes that brake shoe up against that ring gear and, and slows the rotors down. And as it does that, it moves the cyclic forward, which moves the ring gear and, and forces it against this fixed brake shoe. So you'll have double brake shoes to stop the rotors. And here's your, the left and right, the roll trim cylinder which is also operated by that, uh, that hat switch on the, on the top of the joystick, obviously left to right. Now, pre-rotating, when that selector switch is on flight, uh, you have a, obviously the, the ring gear I showed you, then you have a, a little, uh, I can't, maybe you can see it back here. Hold on a minute. Yeah, there you go. See that little, uh, gear back there. I'll push it with my fingers. That's a little pinion. And when you push that pre-rotator, that's the thumb button on the joystick, it pushes this little pinion gear up, activated by this, this little air cylinder right here. Pushes on the bottom of that ring, that uh, pinion gear. Be a little shaky here. I'm trying to get repositioned. And it gets in, engages in the ring gear and obviously spins the rotor. So it's a, it's a unique system. This is the pre-rotator shaft. It's got a universal here and one down below to, to uh, account for the angular movements uh, that might incur during pre-rotator, pre-rotation. But that's basically, uh, it's a basic, simple system.